to see in an automobile on a road through the Atlantic Ocean. At the extreme corner of the United States, a new 100-mile highway will connect 25 islands from the Florida coast to Key West. Construction began early this year from both ends toward the middle. Huge cable dredges are hauling up rock, sand, and clay to be taken to the end of the ribbon-like road and dumped back into the ocean. Floating dredges drag the bottom, building a long, continuous hill on the ocean floor. Right now, the only available way between Miami and Key West, other than boats, is the railroad which goes from island to island over huge trestles. Only one round trip is made each day. But you don't have to wait for the road to be built if you own a car with knee action. Plenty of time between trains, so why not go right over the ties? The wheels may be doing a lot of bumping around, but the rider goes along smoothly right over the bumps. On the island, the highway is nearly done. Broad, smooth roads that soon will be swarming with tourists and fishermen traveling to and from famous Key West. A huge new automobile factory is completed here. It represents the first automobile plant construction work to be done by any automobile company since 1929. These fine old craftsmen have come from 15 plants throughout the country to take part in the opening ceremonies. Each man has worked an average of 21 years for the company. Their combined ages total nearly 1,800 years. Mayor Howard W. Jackson welcomes the oldest employees of the company and presents them with the key to the city. James Thayer of Flint, Michigan is spokesman for the group. He is 83 years old. At Washington, the Honorable Joseph W. Burns, Speaker of the House of Representatives, gets proof that men twice 40 still hold good jobs with Chevrolet. You tell him, boys, life begins at 80. Well, little lady, here's a real surprise. A brand new horse. Looks as if horses are decreasing in size as well as number. What do you suppose they're going to do with it? Well, well, Dad seems to have succeeded in increasing the horsepower of the car. 80 under the hood and one in the back seat. Well, anyway, a half of one. All out, everybody. Come on there, man of war. Don't be so stubborn. That's better. Now you're showing some good old-fashioned horse sense. There we are. That extra horsepower came in handy after all. Riding the rails isn't what it used to be. For a new convertible motor bus that runs just as well over railroad rails as it does over the highway has been put into service here. Leaving the city, the driver very easily flips some convenient levers. Down come a pair of small guide wheels, both in the front and at the rear. They're locked in place. A complete change from road to rail in less than one minute, and we're off down the steel highway, out of traffic and with no more stoplights to watch. Rubber tires on shiny steel rails. Perfect riding comfort at all speeds. Not a bump in a carload. Rubber tires grip the wheels better. No slipping, no skidding. Watch out for those cars. No chance for an accident when we can stop like that. It's expecting a lot to think that a train will stop at a crossing, but this new rail bus can do it. The miles fly by in a hurry, and here's the highway again. Miles saved by the rail shortcut. Up come the guide wheels. We're back on the highway again without even a stop. Right down to the center of the village where we leave passengers and pick up packages for the city. The compartment at the rear is large enough for express in addition to passengers' baggage. All aboard. Eighteen ninety-eight produced this high-powered bit of advertising. In case the picture alone didn't overcome your sales resistance, a line at the bottom was sure to get you. Fifteen of this style sold in actual use and giving complete satisfaction. In 1899, motorists were offered this version of the family car. If you wanted to buy one of these in 1899, you sent stamps for a catalog and received estimates by return mail. For the first time in 25 years, a motor car drives down one of the shortest and narrowest streets in the world. Once, the broad highway of a Spanish king. No pits, not an alley. It's Treasury Street, 
strictly one way traffic and no double parking. Thinking of decorating your car? How's this for an idea? It's open season again on bathing beauties. And the fellow who offers a ride to the beach may be getting himself in for a real job. This might easily be termed the toughest driving test known. 20 perfect reasons for a driver to take his eyes off the road. Just the official Miami Beach bathing beauties for 1935. Hitchhiking a ride to the sand and surf playground. All off girls, end of the line, scram. And the last one in gets sunburned. Thank you.